Okay, so let's look at account heads. So account heads are basically all your, um, let me just turn the lead developer uh, feasibility on. So we have the sidebar that's talking about lead master. We are working in lead master. I would suggest that you do not change the name for this. Um, keep that in your folder because anytime um, it is creating the sheet, it's actually looking for the sheet. Uh, so um, this you can make changes to it, but um, I would suggest that you do not change the name and you um, and you keep the folder where it is in the uh, in the lead developer folder. So let's look at this. So we've got uh, this section over here where we've got uh, our details. So let's say if I wanted to add something new. So um, I, I don't know, let me just copy that underneath. So there are a couple of things in here. One um, is that um, all the blue cells are your input cells, as always, uh, with all the sheets, all blue cells are input cells. So um, if you copy everything down and you've got the same name uh, for that, because this account name needs to be a unique name. So if you put that over here and copy it, it will highlight it red and warn you that it's a duplicate. So in that scenario, I'll just change that, put number two over there. Now it is also saying that you already have this account code that you have already used. So I can't use the same account code either. So if I put two over there and then that warning will go away. And um, this section over here automatically um, puts this section, which is your account code, column C and column D, which is your account code over here. Let me just zoom this in a little bit more so people can uh, look at it um, uh, a little bit bigger. So, so over here, when you add a new account code, which has to be unique, and an account name that has to be unique. Anytime any one of them is not unique, it's going to highlight the two and say, look, it is already there. So let's say um, instead of this, I was to put, you know, um, bank overdraft or something. So I'll put bank uh, overdraft over here. It's going to highlight those two and tell me that, hey, look, you are duplicating a account name or uh, and the same applies to all the cost codes and cost heads as well. So you it, it will warn you or it can't prevent you from doing it because it's a spreadsheet. Um, but it will warn you that it's a duplicate. Do not do that. Now, the best way to, do, to set these up is to check with your accountant and see the things that fall under an income statement. Um, if you have an account code that you are already familiar with or you already are using, you can leave that here. Uh, the main ones that we end up using are these cost of sales because anytime we do a development and we are spending money on construction consultants, all those things, they fall under cost of sales or cost of goods sold um, uh, and so on. We also use uh, sales revenue and other revenue over here. Um, and in future, uh, when we have the Lead Developer Plus that, that will come, will come in, it, it uses a few of the other ones for your um, uh, for your admin expenses um, and all those things. So, so that we can put together, um, the Lead Developer Plus already has an income statement built in. It doesn't have a balance sheet because balance sheet requires double entry bookkeeping, and which is beyond the scope of a spreadsheet for the time being. So, um, so yeah, so if I wanted to change that um, to B O D, let's say if I put O D over here, it'll still go red because it'll tell me you know this is exactly the same. So I need to change this to have a unique value over here and also have a unique value, let's say five 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 or something over here. Only then will it let me uh, create this um, uh, this new. Well, it'll let me. It will let you create it, but it will. It won't take the warning off from there. So this is what we need to uh, be careful of. So let's say owner draws. We've got two. Uh, looks like I was trying to create um, something over here. But so these are the ones that you can go through um, uh, carefully because we in the next section, which is cost head and cost codes, we attach these to each of the cost codes. Um, and it's very simple. It's just a drop down and you can attach them. Um, if you're happy with what I've got, uh, you can continue using that. It won't really you know, change anything. Um, and you can continue using this uh, if you wanted to. So let's zoom out a little bit. And in the next video, we'll talk about cost codes and cost heads.